This is Cranium 17. It belonged to a hominin of unknown age and sex, but they were certainly on the Neanderthal side of our family tree, probably some sort of proto-Neanderthal. It was one of 28 hominins excavated from the Cima de los Huesos, the Pit of Bones, in the Atapuerca Mountains of northern Spain. Archaeologists believe it to be about 430,000 years old. Now, you will have to forgive my advanced medical terminology here, but you can clearly see that this person received a rather severe bosh on the noggin. There are many things that can cause that, though, so why do some archaeologists believe it to be a murder, or at least a lethal attack? Well, for a start, the large hole in the skull was seemingly not created post-mortem, nor does it show any signs of healing, so it's very likely that this blow was fatal. The fracture is composed of two impacts that struck at slightly different angles. Two separate blows suggests that it was probably deliberate. The injuries were probably caused by the same object as they are so similar in size and shape. They both have similar notches above the fracture. We can't tell exactly what caused it, but a, a likely candidate is probably a hand axe. Whenever possible, humans try to break our fall if we slip. Therefore, frontal and facial wounds like the one on Cranium 17 are more likely the result of an intentional attack. Also, accidental blows to the head tend to produce thin, linear fractures rather than these large, wide, deep depressions that have really punctured the skull. Most people are right-handed. As a result, Deliberate injuries are more common on the left-hand side of the face, which is exactly where the owner of Cranium 17 was struck. Interestingly, the other hominins at the SEMA show signs of right-handedness. Whether these early Neanderthals thought of killing another human as more significant than killing another animal, I don't know. I don't think we can answer that. I personally believe that they would have, but that's just my own personal speculation. Now, obviously, we weren't there. I wasn't there. The owner of Cranium 17 may not have been murdered. They could have fallen into the pit. It is 13 meters deep, that could certainly kill you. But two almost identical injuries from a fall bouncing onto the same object, it's not so likely. Perhaps it was a hunting accident. Maybe. But again, two blows both powerful enough to smash the skull like that, that seems like a deliberate act. It is certainly not likely that this person could have done that to themselves, whether deliberately or accidentally. One of these blows alone would be enough to kill someone. It would definitely knock you out anyway, preventing you from uh, doing that second strike. Hey everyone. Was the owner of Cranium 17 murdered? I don't know. Is it reasonable to think that they were? Absolutely. And in archaeology, when we're looking over 400,000 years into the past, basically that's about as definitive as we can get. And that's all I've got to say about Cranium 17. I'm going to finish up this barbecue here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you to my Patreons for uh, supporting me in these crisp-filled archaeological adventures. See ya!